Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to solve problem 3.34 from Fundamentals of Electric Circuits by Alexander and Sadikus 5th edition. In this problem, we are asked to determine the circuits given as planar or non-planar. And this comes under mesh analysis. What is the need for this discussion under mesh analysis? A question may arise in our mind. In mesh analysis, we form loops to find the mesh currents. The loops must be individual or separated in order to find out the mesh currents. A loop cannot cross any other loops. That is the overlapping or crossing loops are not allowed. Now we will see the definition of planar circuit. A planar circuit is one that can be drawn in a plane with no branches crossing one another. So let's see some examples for this. So this is one electrical circuit which is non-planar because it is placed in more than one plane and also it has crossing branches. But if you look at this, this also has crossing branches. So it appears to be non-planar. But if we redraw this circuit, it becomes planar because this circuit doesn't have any crossing branches. So in our problem, we are asked to find out whether it is a planar. If planar, we need to redraw the circuit without crossing branches. So this is problem number 3.34 and in this we have figure 3.83 in which two problems are given. First, let's start with this A problem. So this circuit is now marked with the nodes so here we have a node b node c node d node and e nodes there are five nodes and in this we have the crossing branches that is from a to c we have six ohm resistor place that is a crossing branch and then from b to e we have seven ohm resistance that is a crossing branch then from b to d we have five ohm resistance that is also a crossing branch so we have to redraw the circuit so that we have to make it as a planar circuit. Let's get started. So now we mark the nodes A, B, C, D, E and then we connect the branches between A and B with the 2 ohm resistance between B and C, 3 ohm resistance between A and E, 1 ohm resistance and between E and D we have 10 volts voltage source connected. Then between B and E we have the 7 ohm resistance and between this C and D we have 4 ohm resistance. Between B and D we have this 5 ohm resistance and the connection between A and C is made outside of this particular circuit like this. Instead of having this crossing branch we have made this outside. Okay, so if you look at the circuit, we don't have any crossing branch now. So this is a planar circuit. To have further understanding, we can form the individual loops here. So here this is first loop we can form. Then the second loop can be formed here. Then the third loop can be formed. And the fourth loop can be formed here. So we have four individual loops. They are not crossing. So that this particular circuit is a planar circuit that can be analyzed using mesh analysis. Okay, now we move on to the next problem that is the B problem from this 3.34. So here also we are given a circuit electrical network or we need to determine whether it is a planar or non-planar. Okay, so first we mark the nodes here as A, B, C, D, E. Okay, five nodes are there. If you look at this here we have two crossing branches between A and D and B and E respectively. So if we make some modification in this circuit we can make it as a planar. Let's see. So we mark the nodes here A, B, C, D, E. We connect the branches between the nodes. Between A and B we have this 5 ohm resistance. Between B and C we have the 4 ohm resistance as given in the circuit. Between C and D, we have this 3 ohm resistance. Between D and E, we have this 2 ohm resistance. Between A and E, we have this 1 ohm resistance. Okay. Then between B and E, we have this 7 ohm resistance. So far, we have made the circuit 
as given in the problem itself okay so what are the other modification we need to do here we place this branch between c and e which is previously connected outside okay that 4 amps current source that is now being connected inside this box right so if you make it like this we don't have any crossing branches okay let's do further so between this a and d we connect the 6 ohm resistance previously it was inside right which was crossing actually and between a and c we have this 8 ohm resistance so actually we made only two changes this e and c connection is made inside and a and d connection is made outside that's it by redrawing so we have got the non crossing branches okay so this is a planar circuit we proved it anyhow we'll check whether we can form the loops individual loops so this is loop 1 this is loop 2 here we form loop 3 then here we formed loop 4 and finally with the yellow color we formed loop 5 we are able to form five individual loops we proved that it is a planar circuit and also this circuit can be analyzed using mesh analysis once we have redrawn it okay thank you hope you have understood